I'm going to do a walkthrough of where we're at with our project. And what I'll do is insert video clips as to how they went about doing the portions. Because a lot of little things have happened to equal some really big things. So as you can see, the grade here now is um, walkable. They have um, put down Crusher Run and stamped it with that machine over there. You can see my sidewalk. Um, it did change. I was originally going to have a step there. They've decided to slope it instead, which I'm fine with. I could care less. Um, my mess in the backyard is continuing. Uh, you will see, though, that the tree is gone. We still have the brush, but the tree's gone. Um, we are hoping that in the next week or so, we will finally be rid of the brush. Um, my husband hasn't even had a chance to get the um, lawnmower out of storage, so therefore the dandelions in the grass are growing wild. Um, this is the form for the patio. You can see the stairs are still outside, but this is going to be the size of the patio. I think what I'm going to do is put two oversized pots of flowers on each side of the door. I haven't totally decided, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, the corner here won't be squared off. It will be rounded, but um, that's the beginning form. We think in, I think it's three or four days, they will be here uh, pouring this concrete, and I will not be in town when it happens. I'm going to be at International Quilt Market. So here's this stuff. Doesn't that look so much nicer? I just, I'm really happy with, with how it's going. I'm thrilled with how it's going. It's, it has progressed much better than what I thought. Now here's the entrance into my studio. What you're looking at here is the final prep work before the radiant floor heat guy could come in and do his portion. And they did end up having to have to bring in a tractor to level out the dirt. In a couple minutes, you're going to see um, some markings on the floor. They first went through and said where it needs plus or minus, um, where either dirt crusher had to be um, taken down. Here's the marks. This was a minus three inches and then there's another one that you're going to see that's a minus two inches. And in the back it did need to come up but it didn't have to come up as much as we'd originally thought it was going to have to. Now this is the insulation that you're seeing on the floor. That went down first. Then this wiring that you're seeing. The bright orange patches are my um, in-floor plugs, in-floor outlets. And then after this, now you can see the radiant floor heating pipes that went in and um, how they managed to lay out the outlets around them. We were cautioned to make sure that we had taken really good pictures of the inside floor tubing so that in the event that we ever had to cut into it again later on, we could know, we would know where it was. This picture is of all the tubes that will be housed in the utility room. And now back to where we currently are and what it took to get there. I'm going to take you in and as you can see, I now have concrete floors. So they finished this up. Um, yesterday and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen a bunch of pictures along the way um, if you want to follow me on Instagram I'll insert my um, tag there so that you can find me so now the changes in the um, addition or garage or whatever it is um, you can see Right here, all of the radiant floor heating is in. This line right here is the separation line between the two rooms. This is actually going to be the utility closet. You can see it's right at the wall. 
um, the pipes on the right side are for my unit. The pipes on the left side are for my husband's unit. And this is actually where the doorway will be to separate the two units. So there's where that is. So underneath this piping, I'll insert, or underneath the cement floor, I'll insert some photographs so that you can see exactly how they did it and what they did. Um, there's indentations in the floor. There's actually four of them. There's one here. There's one right here. I'll walk over by the window. There's one here and there's one here. This one and this one are for sewing machine and pressing board. So my pressing board I'm, I'm going to be putting here. It will be on wheels so I can move it around, but it's going to start here. And I believe my sewing table will start over here. The other two, so that one and that one, are for the long arm so that I can move the long arm around. The only or the other thing that we have changed is you can see underneath the stairs it's open now. There had been two posts. We took those out um, and we're actually not going to be putting them back in, I don't believe. I've decided that that would be a great place for a uh, bookcase because my long arm is going to be, if I'm standing at my long arm, this is what I'm going to be looking at. So I can see outside, I can see in my backyard, and right here will be a bookcase. So I can either do um, an actual bookcase or I could do a thread rack. I really would like to do a bookcase but obviously um, things are changing as I get the feel of the room and that's okay with me. I'm, I'm okay with making slight adjustments and this is one of them. So I think that will be a really neat spot. And the other thing we thought is it would be a great place to put my dog, um, my dog Rena. Can you say hi? No. I can put my dog's bed underneath there so that she can be with me. She does like to be with me a lot, so I would like to be able to, to keep her with me. So there is an update as to where we're at. What continues to happen at this point is the electrician has got more work to do. Um, there's one of his pipes coming up for outlet purposes. This pipe is actually for um, this floor outlet and that floor outlet. My husband and I have some cleaning up to do. You can see under the window here, we've got some a pile of cement that needs to get cleaned up. So we'll be in here uh, with a broom sweeping and cleaning up. But there are um, some wires I don't want to make you sick, so I'm not going to pick up the camera to the ceiling. There are some wires run. Um, I'm not certain if you can see them underneath the window there. There will be window lights in all four of the upper windows so that I can put candles in the windows. So those are all run. You can see there's some wires down here. So I think now at this point we start doing boxes. Um, outlet boxes and that type of stuff. But there is more wiring to be done. Um, once he gets most of the boxes in, at that point we will then start to, um, then I think the insulation guy comes in, I think. So that'll be good. Right now I'm really anxious to get the patio done so that we can start getting the yard cleaned up. The yard is um, really starting to drive me a little crazy. So I'll be really happy to get the yard um, started to get settled. I can get my pots, um, the plants that are sitting in my pots growing out, get them back in the ground where they belong, and hopefully I'll be able to save most of them. So. 
this is where we're at. And again, um, if you want to see the progress as it goes in just still pictures, follow me on Instagram. And also, I'll be doing pictures at Quilt Market. So if you'd like to see what goes on at Quilt Market, you can follow me on Instagram there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.